Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and we are looking at one of the add-on activities for our mummy mystery this month, and we're making a mummified chicken through osmosis, and we're also going to look at osmosis in an egg, and this is a fun, really hands-on way to see what's going on with water in the osmosis. So what you're going to need for this are a few eggs. You only technically need two, one for a salt water sort of bath and one for a regular water bath. I made four just in case one popped. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your eggs in vinegar, you're just going to pour vinegar over it, and you're going to wait for two days. I set this up next to our kitchen table so the kids could see because the vinegar is going to react to the shell in that egg and it's going to sort of eat away at it because the vinegar is acidic and the shell is made out of something called calcium carbonate. And so it's going to make little bubbles, not a huge explosion of bubbles like what we see with baking soda, but it's going to have a reaction that is similar to baking soda, so you'll see bubbles coming off of the eggshells. And over time, you're going to see those eggshells start to disappear, and it'll look kind of like um, a very opaque egg. You'll see the yolk, and you can handle it. It'll feel a little bit like a water balloon, and if you kind of roll it over, you can see the yolk moving inside of the egg. So that's sort of a really fun thing to do to let them touch them. And if you have extra eggs, if you make the four eggs, and you have the ability to sort of play with a few, poke a few. My girls loved to poke them. Thankfully, they didn't pop any, but just be careful about that. So what you'll do after the two days is you're going to weigh each of the eggs. And you're going to write it down. And there's a spot for you to write down your initial weights and your final weights for your egg that's in fresh water, so no salt and your egg that's in a heavily salted salt water. And so you're gonna record those measurements and then you're just gonna fill up a cup with either tap water and plop that egg in there, and then fill up a cup with tap water with a ton of salt. So you're gonna add as much salt as you can to this, and you're gonna put the other egg in that one. Now, what will happen over the course of the next day is the egg that's in fresh water, the egg has, in the, inside of it, has a lot of sorts of salts and fats and proteins and all these nice things, and that little layer around the egg that makes it feel like a water balloon, that's a membrane, and it's a special type of membrane that's called semi-permeable, which means some things can go through it and some things can't. And it just so happens that the salts cannot go through it, but water can. And so the water on the outside has no salt in it. And on the inside, it's a really highly salt area. So it's a big, high concentration of salt. Now, in osmosis, we want to even out concentrations as much as possible. So in your egg that's in the fresh water, water is going to actually go into your egg to try to dilute the salts of the egg. And so that egg should get bigger because we're adding a bunch of water to the inside. On the other hand, with your egg that has a ton of salt in it, the, the egg and the water on the inside sees a high salt concentration outside of the egg. And it says, I need to go dilute that high salt concentration over there. So it actually leaves the membrane, and your egg will shrink. Now, this is how osmosis works, because it's always trying to even out concentrations. So when you have your fresh water with a salty egg, and it's not actually a salty egg, but com in comparison to the fresh water, it has many salts. And so the water is going to go into your egg to dilute that salty, the saltiness inside the egg. Now, in the salt water, your salty egg is not nearly as salty as the salt water. So water is going to go out to try to dilute that heavily salted salt water. And so at the end of a day, it only takes about a day to do this, you can take those eggs out and you can weigh them again so that you can actually see, yep, one gained weight and one lost weight. And when you compare the two, you'll be able to see them pretty significantly, um, how they look and how they're different. We added a little bit of food dye to our eggs just to color them and make it a little bit more fun, which was great. And at the end, when we popped them, which you definitely want to do over a sink because it is an egg and it's a raw egg, the yolks on the inside will also feel different. So that's sort of another fun, slimy activity if you want to do that with your kids, where they can pop open the egg and feel that yolk and feel that membrane and see how the water, the super big egg that had water go into it feels different from the super small egg that had water leave it into that salt water. So this is another way to look at osmosis, and this lab looks heavily at osmosis because, again, we're taking water out of our chicken through osmosis. And it also looks at carbon dating with a fun uh, activity where you guys will make your own mass spectrometer and be scientists to figure out if your mummy is real or not. 
We have had so much fun with this mummy mystery with Rosie, and we hope that you'll come along with us. We have all the downloads in your download kit. If you still need your download kit, you can get it at rosieresearch.com shop, or you can become a patron and subscribe to all of our fun kids science labs as they come out at patreon.com slash rosieresearch. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so as our fun videos come out, you guys will be right there and ready to watch.